streaming TV? Well, 20 years ago in 1997, DVD was just starting. So it was an obvious thing to go after a new market like that. And we were mostly DVD by post in the U.S. until 2007. That's when we started streaming. And then 2011 is when we expanded internationally, began that. And 2012 is when we launched here in the U.K. So original content has always been very important to you. How crucial is original content and making original stuff in uh, your fight against competitors like, for example, Amazon Prime? Massively important. I mean, we've competed with uh, HBO and, you know, really think about your time and when you relax, what are you going to watch? And there's so much competition already. Uh, and our new shows uh, like Stranger Things that's so hot right now are great differentiators because they're only on Netflix. Of course, there's House of Cards, Orange is the New Black, Narco Season 2 is coming this September. There has been some criticism of the fact that you have raised prices. I think it's called ungrandfathering when you raise the price for someone who's already a member. Um, it hasn't gone down very well. In fact, some might argue that it's had an impact on the number of new subscribers, which in fact were quite disappointing for April to June. You know, we grew in the second quarter from 81 to 83 million members. Wasn't as much as we were hoping for, but you know, it's still great growth. So you can't get in too focused on any one quarter. And nobody likes price increases, I don't either. Uh, but it's something we need to do to supply the content that we want. We want to have so much content that there's just always something great to watch on Netflix, and that does take a little more money. The reaction that you've had to on grandfathering doesn't particularly bode well for the future, does it? What, let's say if you want to raise prices again in the future, how are people going to react if you need more money to put towards maybe making some more original programs? You know, five years ago, we were 20 million members, and we've just continued to plug away and grow and make the service better. And our entry pricing is the same it's always been. Um, so here in the UK, it's 599 pounds, uh, it's 799 US dollars or 799 euro. Uh, so those prices haven't changed in years. What does the future hold in terms of TV and online and the differences in the way that people watch content? TV is getting bigger than it's ever been, and it's driven by the internet. Um, but broadcast will decline, and internet TV will increase. But think of uh, internet as just the new way to enjoy television of all sorts, whether that's Netflix, the BBC iPlayer, uh, or HBO Go. Do you think there'll ever be a time when people get all they want in terms of television content by streaming it online? Sure, think of the mobile phone. Uh, you know, everyone uses mobile phone now instead of a fixed line phone. Um, and it'll be the same thing over 10 or 20 years.